Hey, Cam. This is uh, Daniel Yafusi with the Miami Herald. Uh, welcome to South Florida. Congratulations. Man. Appreciate you. Yeah, I first wanted to ask, um, you know, what was the communication like with uh, the Dolphins in the pre-draft process? And this is, is this a place that you thought could be a good chance that you, you come to? Um, uh, pre-draft process really didn't have a lot of talks. Uh, knew they just came to a lot of practices. I already knew that the general manager's uh, son was on the team. So he was kind of giving me the ins and outs of the league already throughout, throughout the whole process. Just kind of staying, staying uh, clean nose and stuff like that. So just coming in uh, to the uh, combine, we had a formal meeting, um, and then coming into the uh, the top thirty visits, I had that was my last meeting, the last meeting I took, and it, it got kind of scheduled, kind of too. So I felt like it was it was it was giving something on on that accord right there. Yeah, and what are your thoughts on coming to a defensive back room and a cornerback room that has Xavier Howard on one side and, and uh, um, Jalen Ramsey on the other? Um, it's, it's kind of a blessing. Uh, I feel like I was already in that position being at South Carolina, having uh, JC and Izzy uh, above me uh, when I first came in. So coming in and I, I just kind of uh, stayed under their wing, uh, learned the ins and outs of, of what they were doing because they were excel excelling at that level. So just kind of coming in, doing the same thing with Jalen and Xavier, which is going to be even better then. We'll go to David. Hey, Cam, uh, congratulations on this big moment for you. Appreciate you. Uh, what do you know about uh, defensive coordinator Vic Fangio, his defenses? Um, obviously, he's uh, he's pretty storied uh, in the NFL. So what would you think of him when you met him in this whole process? Um, very wise dude. Uh, dude, that's going he's going to get on you by every look and cranny about every, everything. Uh, even just like one of my foot, uh, my steps on, on one of my plays, he was he keyed it out. And I really didn't even notice it until he said anything about it. So just kind of how you pay attention to detail with a lot of things. I kind of love uh, a coach that pays attention to detail, make sure that everything is smooth and crisp and ironed out. What do you consider uh, your favorite aspects of the cornerback position? Um, my favorite aspects in myself or as a, a DB that you have to have as a DB? Sure, uh, for, for yourself playing the position. Uh, I feel like uh, my hands, my feet, my hips, uh, being able to get, get on top of dudes, not uh, playing even uh, so I can make sure I can hold the route. Um, making sure that I'm on, I'm on top of it all times. So being able to be in those positions, my hands and feet and hips being all together in one, I feel like that's the best thing that, that separates me from a lot of dudes. All right, thank you, congratulations. Appreciate you. Travis. Hey Cam, I'm Travis with the Miami Dolphins here uh, in the building. Uh, congrats on being drafted. Appreciate you. No problem. I wanted to ask you if you could take us to the moment when you got that phone call from uh, Mike McDaniel, Chris Greer, Stephen Ross. Uh, what that moment was like for you? Uh, I mean, it was it was kind of kind of crazy because uh, I was just calling Landon. Uh, like I called Landon because we was just talking about how if I fell uh, late to the second round, it was going to be like it, that. That could it could be that. So I was uh, just kind of going off of what he was saying about the process, and then what Coach Greer was uh, Coach Greer was saying uh, when I was on my visit. How, how if they have the chance to get me, they will they will come and get me. And then they stay true to that. So just kind of being on the phone and landing well, right before that and then seeing them, seeing, them, seeing them call me that 954 number, it's crazy. I got to ask you a follow-up. When you think about going up and practice against Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle, what do you think about? I feel like getting, I think about getting better every day. I'm going against two of the, the most feared dudes in the league um, every day in practice. I ain't got no worries when I get on the field. That's how I'm going to feel. Thanks, Cam. So, Omar, what what was this process like for you? I mean, being able to be at the doorstep of a dream, and I, I don't know if you felt like you were going to be in the first round, but what was it like last until the second day? Um, it was kind of uh, I kind of felt down all of that stuff. Like after like when it ended, last pick came in, stuff like that. I kind of felt down on myself, just kind of wondering like what was I doing wrong, stuff like that. Just kind of thinking about it, but then at the same time, I got to think about what, what God has in store for me. And, and it's not just what I want and what I think should be happening and stuff like that. It, it has to have something behind it and God always got something behind it. How? Hi, Cam, congratulations and welcome to Miami. Appreciate you. Um, I'd like to ask you a little bit about the role of your family in your life, going back to when you were young, as well as now. Um, I understand you have a, a young daughter. 
Uh, can you just describe the, the role that your relatives have had in your life? Um, really just kind of having that close knit family, mom, dad, brother, sister, uncles, aunts, like everybody being in close knit. We always coming for Sunday dinner and stuff like that. It was always big. So just having them there the whole time and then coming to see everybody like in a whole, everybody come together and like, even though if they didn't know me, it didn't know this person, but they starting to meet the whole support system. So just having a whole support system there was way bigger than anything for me. Just seeing everybody, everybody crying and everybody doing, I wasn't even crying that much, but I had people crying a lot harder than me. So like, it just shows how much they care for me throughout this process. And and how is it being a dad? Are you enjoying being a dad? Definitely. Uh, it's a couple couple of hiccups here and there, uh, always, but it's, 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 it's smooth. Thanks. Marcel? Hey, what's up, Cam? Uh, Marcel Louis Jacques with ESPN. Congratulations and welcome to Thank Miami. Uh, just curious, playing in the playing in the SEC, how do you feel like that's prepared you for the competition you're about to face within your own division? You got Josh Allen twice a year. You got Aaron Rodgers now twice a year. I don't know if you've even had time to really let that sink in yet. Um, just feel like uh, I mean, it's, it, is, it is the best ball in college football. I feel like that, I, and I, and I can stand by that. Um, I feel like it's a lot more dog in that in that conference. I feel like it's a lot more people trying to make it up. People not really just playing football, just to play football. So I feel like coming from no trenches type of thing, that's giving me an edge over anybody. Regardless, I know that edge. I know how to practice. I know what it comes, what take, what it takes to do those type of things. And every SEC team is basically ran like a pro organization. So I'm already in that in that doorway. And then one more thing: you're from Blythewood, right? Yes, South sir. Carolina. Uh, do you have any relationship, or you know of Justin Bethel at all? I think he went to the same high school, right? Uh, Justin Bethel. I think I've heard that name before, but I didn't graduate. I went to West. I graduated with Westwood, though. I graduated from Westwood. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, man. Congrats once again. Appreciate you. Joe? Hey, Cam. It's uh, Joe Shad uh, from the Palm Beach Post. Nice to meet you. I, nice to meet you. I know that you're capable of playing outside corner slot corner, and some people even think you can play safety if called upon. What have the Dolphins said about whether they plan to cross-train you in multiple positions? Um, plan, uh, when we were sitting down in the office, with me and, and Greer, we was just kind of wrapping it up about uh, what I wanted to play and how I want to do it. Uh, we always know that I'm a, I could play two positions, but just kind of get my, my my feet wet in the, in the league first, uh, getting outside, making sure I can I, – and hold it down, do everything I need to do and, and learn those new techniques that they're going to teach me and stuff like that. And then moving inside a little later, going inside, moving, um, learning those things and stuff like that. So just kind of gradually going into it. Xavier Howard was once also a second round corner. They picked him out of Baylor. And uh, if you read his scouting reports back in the day, they said that he can get a little physical I'm reading this one here on one website. It says he can get a little grabby. Tell me about how you balance physicality, being in their back pocket, being handsy, but not get trying not to get called. Um, sometimes you just kind of got to watch it. Got to know the receiver that you're going against. A uh, big, stronger dude, uh, you can do a lot more. You're not really going to do all that flinching and stuff like the kind of little dudes will do and stuff like that when you tug them or, or you push them and stuff like that. So it's just kind of just knowing, knowing, knowing who you're going against and knowing what you got to do. Thanks, man. Welcome. Appreciate you. Thank you. Chris? Hey, Cam. Um, yeah. Chris, Chris Perkins from the South Florida Sun Sentinel. How you doing? I'm good. good. Hey, uh, I wanted to know when you first considered yourself an NFL prospect and how much did that dream uh, drive you every day? Um, really kind of realized it. I didn't realize it when I was young, like a lot of people and stuff like that, but I realized it really my junior year, going into my junior year, um, finding out, uh, basically at the start of spring ball, uh, I was going to have a kid at the, uh, in the summer. Um, and then it, it kind of just went from there. Like I kind of, kind of was kind of different every day. I don't know why I didn't really home in on why I was different or really think about it. I was kind of going and doing it and everything. So 
practice were easier. Like I was making a lot of plays, stuff like that. Like, so I was just kind of getting in a groove of, of feeling like a dominant corner. And then coming into the season, I continued the same trend. So it was just kind of that whole season. Like it, it just kind of solidified it. And, and did you notice other teams noticing your talent and, and playing you different or trying to throw away from you and, and things like that? Uh, not uh, my 2021 season, a lot more in my 2022 season. Uh, I had a lot less targets than my 2021 season. So, yeah, I feel like I got the respect that I deserve. Okay, we have time for three final questions. We're going to go to Mark, Hassam, and Omar. Hey, Cam, uh, Mark Stahl with the Miami Times newspaper. Congratulations. Uh, welcome to Miami. Uh, first, my question to you is uh, more so about Blackwood. Um, coming from South Carolina, what are you uh, looking more forward to coming to Miami? Um, really just kind of always kind of having a little a little warmth to the weather and really no no cold fronts stuff like that really just kind of the weather that's really the only difference between South Carolina for, for real for me I mean I don't really go out like that I don't get into those type of things I ain't really a social dude and uh secondly uh your game against Tennessee last year you were able to shut down the uh Belitnikov winner um do you think that that game stood out to you the most um last season or what was it about that game? Uh, it didn't stand out to me. I knew I was guarding him from the jump since he started snapping. Uh, so as soon as he would, like, when we knew he was coming on schedule, I told him, I, this is two, eight, two, three weeks in advance. And I'm already telling him, like, we're going. But just having that game, I feel like, yeah, that kind of boosted everything and stuff like that. But I feel like I didn't, I didn't put in no extra effort for that. I didn't do anything extra for that. Appreciate it. Hassan? Hi, Cam. My name is Hassan Patam from Five Reasons Sports. First of all, congratulations on being drafted by the Miami Dolphins. And sure. welcome to Miami. Uh, you stated a lot that you're a perfectionist about technique, and you stated that you're very comfortable with your back, uh, with, with your, uh, back pedal. How does that help you prepare against some of the faster wide receivers in the NFL? Um, a lot of the fast dudes uh, get a lot of people that kind of open up and run. A lot, uh, so they'll already be open up, running, tilted up shoulders and stuff like that. So kind of just being comfortable with my pedal, knowing my speed, knowing what I can do, uh, going to have me just more comfortable in those situations. Somebody pressing me hard up the field, trying to run a comeback, uh, a 15-yard comeback or a 20-yard comeback, right? Somebody doing that, me being able to stand my pedal and transition, keep my same transition instead of just kind of opening the gate and, and letting them run and, and being scared. So just having having that kind of confidence in my back pedal is going is going to help me. Final question, Omar. Hey, Cam, Omar with All Dolphins. I wanted to ask you about your relationship with Landon Greer and, and how much do you think that that provided a scouting report for Chris Greer? And how many times do you think you interacted with Chris Greer throughout the course of your career at South Carolina? Um, my relationship with Landon is, is pretty smooth. Uh, we're not like the best of friends, but like every day we're cracking up, like in the locker room or we in the meeting room cracking up. Like so just something to that extent. But it's just always kind of been like he was just kind of telling us the ways of the league. Like he was already he's been in it since he's been little. Like so he knows he damn near knows more than a lot of the people know in the in the league. So just kind of having that, having that in my back pocket, um, was was great. He just kind of led everything the whole time. He he always talked good about me every time they told me. They told me about Landon was calling them about me and stuff like that. Like he always put in a good word for me, and I, I, I'm grateful for him. I, I, I'm truly grateful for him. But uh, the I ain't really had I, my first time meeting Chris Greer was at the combine at the formal uh, meeting we had, and then the second time when I had my top thirty visit. Thank you. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you so much, Cam.